Diddy had that man in the room. Look, yes, I put my ear to the door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the f was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against cheeks. I heard struggling to take. Seems like the rumors about Meek being Diddy's special friend were actually true because a recording just got out of Meek screaming for his life when Diddy mercilessly clapped his cheeks. You know how the internet is? It never forgets and always brings the proof, honey. Now, if you recall a few weeks back, there was a whole scandal about Meek supposedly being Diddy's young companion, but Meek was quick to deny it and even threatened those who spoke about it. Well, seems like he should have kept his mouth shut because people started digging and guess what? They found some things that even Meek can't deny. Apart from that intense recording of Diddy giving Meek a hard time, there's also an old song where Meek openly talked about getting cozy with Diddy for some cash. Grab your popcorn, folks, because we're about to dive deep into this juicy drama. So, as many of you already know, Diddy is currently laying low, reportedly hiding out in the Caribbean after the authorities raided his place looking for evidence to put him behind bars. Even his sons, Justin and Christian, got caught up in the mess and were taken away by the police. And amidst all this chaos, the spotlight shifted to Meek Mill after Diddy's former bodyguard leaked that scandalous audio of Diddy and Meek getting up close and personal during one of their freaks off session. The reason why this is causing such a stir is because Meek was already busted as Diddy's special friend a few weeks back, but he kept denying it and tried to brush it off as people just trying to make him look bad. When all along, he was really cozying up to Diddy. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Now, for those of you who aren't in the loop, a music producer named Elod filed a massive lawsuit against Diddy a few weeks ago, spilling all the tea. Not only did Elod call out Diddy, but also dropped names like Diddy's sons Justin and Christian Combs, Young Miami, Usher, and Meek Mill. Apparently, Justin and Miami were involved with Diddy in some shady business, while Miami was allegedly in charge of hooking up girls for Diddy illegally, Rodney also exposed Diddy for getting cozy with some guys in the industry, promising them all sorts of opportunities in exchange. And you guessed it, Meek was right up there on that list, letting Diddy slide in for a few favors. Rodney even claimed that Diddy pressured Stevie J into some intimate sessions, promising him a Grammy in return. Now, this is where things start to get even messier because within the lawsuit, there were revelations about Meek Mill and Usher being frequent visitors to these freaks off sessions. Rodney didn't directly name drop Meek Mill and Usher in the lawsuit like he did with others. But he provided descriptions with very specific details that pretty much pointed fingers at them. For instance, he described Meek as a rapper from Philadelphia who had a past relationship with Nicki Minaj and he described Usher as a male R&B singer who recently had a successful Vegas residency and performed at the Super Bowl. Now, I probably don't need to remind you, but Meek is indeed a rapper from Philly who dated Nicki from 2015 to 2017, and Usher did just wrap up a hugely successful Vegas residency, reportedly grossing over $100 million, and he did perform at the Super Bowl a few weeks back. Anyway, back to Rodney's lawsuit. He claimed to have witnessed Usher and Diddy getting cozy several times, along with making out with the girls provided by Young Miami and Justin. Rodney even recalled a specific incident on Diddy's yacht, where both Meek and Usher were seen mingling with multiple girls. The lawsuit explicitly stated that rapper Meek was seen on Combs' yacht, interacting with underage girls and S-workers. And remember when I mentioned earlier about Diddy confessing to Rodney about coercing Stevie J? Well, turns out it wasn't just Stevie. According to Rodney, Diddy explicitly admitted to him that he had also been involved with both Usher and Meek on several occasions. The lawsuit stated that Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in S intercourse with rapper, redacted, and R&B singer, redacted, as well as Stevie J. People were absolutely disgusted by the allegations against Diddy involving Usher and Meek, and they wasted no time jumping on social media to drag them. Meek, in particular, went into a frenzy on social media, tweeting in a desperate attempt to defend himself. However, his efforts were futile, as people weren't buying it. He tweeted things like, I would trash any celebrity if they tried a wild move on me, no pics, literally go crazy on them. That's all. I'm from Philly, man. 
all my guys always watch me around this wild industry. Every black blog site enhanced that post to make me seem gay. I change laws for our people. I donate millions. They are designed to destroy the image of black leaders. It can't work with me though. You've got to really know me and I still will get bigger after death, this guy not me, lol. He also found himself in a heated Twitter feud with DJ AC Mikes, who was simply reporting the news. Can you believe attacking someone just for doing their job? It's wild. What's even wilder is that it took hours before Meek finally addressed these allegations on Twitter. He said, I'm from Philly, I don't do coke or freaky ass Molly. Nobody would even offer me coke because I'm that heavy. No man or woman would ever approach me about gay activity. The whole situation blew up with his tweets flooding every blog. It was like they were waiting for me, LOL. After this, people backed off for a while because it was obvious that Meek was on the brink of a breakdown and nobody wanted to see him spiral further. That is, until Diddy's ex-bodyguard leaked an audio of Meek getting intimate with Diddy. I was utterly shocked when I first heard it. Apart from the fact that the voices in the audio sounded exactly like Meek and Diddy, it was deeply unsettling to listen to. Meek was screaming at the top of his lungs and it sounded like he was in agony, but Diddy just kept going. Now, I can't play the full audio for you because it's just too disturbing, but here's a snippet. Just know it's incredibly sensitive. Lee. <laughs> Now the former bodyguard who recorded and leaked the audio shared a whole video explaining how it all unfolded. According to him, it happened during one of Diddy's freaks off sessions and he decided to lean by the door to record what he was hearing. He was shocked to see Meek allowing Diddy to engage in such behavior. He claimed that Diddy intentionally spiked everyone's drinks at the party so they would be too intoxicated to realize what was happening but he himself didn't drink, which is why he was sober enough to witness what was going on between him and Meek. Champagne was spiked, son. Like, all the champagne was spiked. Everybody was passed the f out. I don't drink. I don't drink, so I was playing that shit off like I don't fucking drink. I smoke, n Like, I smoke and I had my own weed, but, like, everybody was passed out. Yo, Diddy had that man in the room. Look, yes, I put my ear to the f door and i brought the phone because diddy started going in overdrive i ain't know what the f was going on but i just heard balls slapping against his cheeks i heard the struggling to take i heard it being like yeah daddy like when, when i when, when he started call, all that daddy this and daddy that and then i heard some hollering and struggling like yeah i kept the phone there and i recorded all that shit because i was like this diddy everybody kind of knew back in the day that Meek Mills and Puff was a little too friendly. Anytime two rappers or two people in the industry come dressed up alike on more than one occasion. Do you all recall that video of Meek in the pool looking slightly bent over as if he was trying to mask some pain while Diddy recorded him and referred to him as daddy? Diddy kept praising Meek for his efforts. Personally, that video seems like it was filmed just moments after Diddy clapped Meek's cheeks in the bedroom. Hey, what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Someone reacted by saying, looks like a private pool party, Meek cooling that hole. While another person commented, Meek Mill cooling those cheeks after putting in that work. To add fuel to the fire, Meek was caught following a page on Twitter that exclusively posts videos of black men engaging in intimate activities. Perhaps he was trying to learn some new techniques for Diddy, who knows. But as soon as people caught wind of it, he swiftly unfollowed the page. And if that wasn't enough, an old song by Meek leaked online where he seemingly confesses to engaging in intimate activities with Diddy in order to advance his career in Hollywood. The song revolves around his pursuit of fame and his regrets for what he did with Diddy. Let's take a listen to this. I, I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. <laughs> Dream chases. I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Real street nigga forever. I'm the king of Philly. It's truly heartbreaking to see how Diddy exploited Meek for such a long time. Meek felt powerless to stop it, believing that if he made himself available to Diddy, his career would soar. 
Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, as Meek's career has taken a nosedive. He's been dropped from his label, his latest album flopped, and now he's shunned by the industry, because no rapper wants to be associated with him after learning about his involvement with Diddy. As always, people had plenty to say about the situation. One person expressed disbelief, saying, I can't believe so many of our black men are subjecting their minds and bodies to unnatural things. It's something I should have never heard. I feel violated after listening to that audio. It's terrifying. Now, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. What do you make of Meek engaging in such activities with Diddy in exchange for opportunities in Hollywood? Do you see Meek as another victim of Diddy's disturbing behavior, or do you think he may have actually enjoyed it? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to check out this other juicy video.